And you may be wondering, okay, co-founded by Nafisa and Brianna. Like what, what's going on with there with that? Well, uh, let's, let's meet the co-founders. Let's meet the co-founders and let's find out a little bit more about them. So one thing is that both of these players are from the Gino Oriema Yukon tree. Um, Brianna Stewart, let's talk about her first. She won four straight NCAA championships at UConn. That is, that was really her initial claim to fame. Um, and she came to the WNBA and started balling. She is a two-time WNBA MVP. Most recently, last season, she was the MVP. Uh, she uh, is a, a two-time WNBA champion, uh, both with the Seattle Storm. Um, now she currently plays for the uh, New York Liberty. Um, in the there's a lot of there's a lot to say about Brianna Stewart. She she's fantastic. This season she's averaging 19.3 points a game, nine rebounds a game. Uh, she she's great. There's a lot of stuff you can talk about her with a, a lot. Um, but the thing about Brianna Stewart, um, and partially the reason why this league was created, is the fact that Brianna Stewart has played overseas a lot. She's played overseas a whole 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 lot. Um, most recently. Um, in 2023, she played over in Turkey in a uh, for a club called Fenerbahce, and this is this is a uh, this is a a Turkish powerhouse of a squad. Um, and elite players like Brianna Stewart, they go they go overseas and they and they play for a long time. Um, uh, Brianna Stewart now has a daughter and wants to be more stateside, so that's part of the reason why this this league has been created by Brianna and Nafisa. So that's a little bit about Brianna Stewart. Now on to Nafisa Collier. Nafisa Collier, again, um, is from that Yukon tree. Um, Nafisa Collier, you know, she's fantastic. She is a four-time WNBA All-Star. She plays for the Minnesota Lynx. Right now in this season, she is averaging 20 points a game, 10.2 rebounds a game. So, it's, so she is averaging a double-double in this uh, WNBA season so far. Um, She's fantastic. <laughs> she absolutely is. In my mind, right now, she is uh, she is the second best player in the WNBA right now, um, and she's she's fantastic. Uh, she's dealing with plantar fasciitis right now. Both Nafisa and Brianna Stewart are representing Team USA. Um, Brianna Stewart has two uh, uh, Olympic gold medals underneath her belt. Nafisa Collier has one. They both are looking to have one more. Um, each uh, at the end of this uh, this year's Olympics. Um, and similar similar to uh, Brianna Stewart, Nafisa Collier also played for Fernabanche as well. Um, and she, she, she most recently uh, played for them overseas. All right, so both players play, have, have been fantastic in the WNBA. Both came from, both came from UConn. Both have been fantastic. Um, both have played overseas and both are moms. So both Brianna Stewart and Nafisa Collier are moms, and this sort of made, started a change for them, uh, them them uh, becoming moms and, and wanting to spend more time uh, uh, stateside. That really uh, dis, uh, switched something in their minds in terms of, hey, we need some options that are that are in America. All right, that's what we need, and as a result, we have Unrivaled created. Now here's here's specifically what Brianna Stewart had to say. She said for years women women have relied on off court sponsorships for majority of their income. With Unrivaled, we are revolutionizing the game by prioritizing investments in our stars and ensuring their on court performance is reflected in their pay. Now this is sort of um, talk. This was when um, Unrivaled was unveiled, and, and she was just sort of talking about uh, what this means for. Um, for players because yeah, it's, it, it's kind of, it's kind of great because you, you've had to rely on um, sponsorships from brands. You've also had to rely on going overseas instead of staying in America because a lot of players in the W would like to stay in America, but they can't because, well, they can't, well, they, they want additional revenue in the off season for the WNBA, uh, which is the majority of the year. And so they tend to go overseas. Uh, but with this, they do have now an option to stay in the US. All right, let's get into some more uh, details. So here's what Brianna Stewart had to say um, after we found out this league was was a thing. 
Uh, so Brianna Stewart said, we went to dinner in New York and Basil, that uh, uh, Alex Basil is Nafisa Collier's husband. So that's who she's referring to. And Basil was explaining the idea of being a part of this league where it's like you're on an all digital basketball court. You're playing three on three, one on one, queen of the court style uh, type of thing where you hold all bragging rights, but also make a salary that's kind of set in stone, but also you can grow bigger. So that's kind of how this whole thing started. Nafisa Collier, her husband, who is who was actually now the president of Unrivaled, he he explained this idea, and they both were pretty interested. Uh, both uh, both Nafisa and Brianna Stewart were pretty interested, and that's sort of the start of this thing. Uh, this all came from an idea at dinner, and it's kind of cool that like it's actually turning into a real thing. Um, so all digital basketball court, you're playing. It's three on three, you know, one on one. Like that's that's unrivaled. That is that is what unrivaled has become, and it's kind of cool what a uh, what a dinner can do uh, for an idea. All it takes is an idea and some food, and hey, maybe maybe you got something. Maybe you got some some uh, golden plan in the works. Um, let's let's kind of talk specifically about the court because I've seen some people in the chat already talk about the court, and they're asking what size is it? Is it half court? Like, what's the details about that? Well, um, unrivaled will be playing on a compressed full court um, that is about 70 feet long. Now, um, uh, that's something to know. It is not half court basketball. Um, and, and, and when we talk about, when we talk about half court basketball for three X three for, for three V three, we're thinking about three X three. And we're thinking about those, those types of rules, not the, not the same thing when it comes to this. Uh, so a normal, a normal basketball court is 94 feet. All right. A normal basketball court is 94 feet. This will be 70 feet um, and it's full court. So th again, this is going to be an all digital uh, court. So they're going to be able to make it, you know, 70 feet and it's going to look pretty, it's going to look like a basketball court, but it's going to look like a compressed one. So I don't know if you all have seen these, but um, you see it at like rec centers where uh, they have like a full court, uh, but it's not full court. It's not a full, it's not a full court because because the uh, the half court line is very close to the three point line. I don't know if you all have seen gyms like that. Um, I I have, and it's going to be similar to that. All right, it's 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 going to be similar to that. So full full court basketball, seventy feet long. So pretty pretty sizable difference between a regular basketball court and a um and a um. Uh, unrivaled basketball court. So 94 feet is a regular basketball court. This is going to be 70. All right. Uh, so hopefully that is helpful. Um, one of the, one of the reasons why, uh, it is, um, it is, uh, 70 feet instead of playing half court is because, uh, the extra space, um, is to sort of make sure that um you sort of reduce wear and tear because when you're when you're playing so condensed half court half court basketball it does provide a little bit more wear and tear on your body uh which maybe may may sound a little bit not right but it is <laughs> um and it also allows players to have like fast breaks and whatnot um and they'll be able to showcase their skills a lot more than if it was just half court basketball so we are going to be able to see players go from side to side so yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the thought process there. Um, and I saw another question in the chat about um, is this are these games going to be on TV? The answer is yes, but specifically where we're not sure yet. So the games are intended to be played within a one hour broadcast window. So when we see these games on TV, one game is going to be just one hour. Right now for the WNBA, it's about two and a half hours for the most part to, to watch a game um, at, at the max. And this will be one hour. One hour, uh, there'll be four quarters, though they have not released how long the quarters are. But they got to be pretty short because the whole game's going to be done in an hour. Um, so four quarters, there is going to be a game clock um, and a shot clock, though um, though there is no, no specific... Um, there, there's no specific timing there. So four quarters uh, of play, game clock, shot clock, one hour broadcast. 
All right, so sort of keep that in mind as we sort of go through the rest of this. All right, and again, have questions, ask them in the comments below. All right, let's continue on, let's continue on. One thing to note that I sort of talked about earlier that I wanna, wanna hone in on a little bit is the fact that Unrivaled will have a 1v1 single elimination tournament. Now, uh, this is gonna be kinda cool. Uh, this is sort of like a queens of the court type of thing where we are really gonna see who is the best 1v1 player in the world. Um, now, uh, we don't really see 1v1 when it comes to women's basketball, it's it's not really a thing. Like it, it, it's it's not a thing that that that's really done. And so I think that this is going to be really really fun. Um, sort of like a it, it, this isn't quite a all star type of thing, but this is sort of like going to be in in the sort of the halfway mark of the season for Unrivaled, and is going to give the uh, players an opportunity to sort of regroup um, and play something really really fun, uh, a one v one tournament. And uh, they go back to regular three on three. I, now I, I I like this as a concept because the idea of a um, the idea of a one v one league does not sound fun. But the idea of a of a short one v one tournament to me that sounds awesome. Now guys, let me know in the comments what y'all specifically think about this one v one tournament. But I, I think it'll be cool um, to see this short and sweet tournament uh, that's going to happen in February um, in the middle of uh, the unrivaled. Season. So that is something to know, again, to determine the best 1v1 player in the league. Um, and Will, yes, when I, when I was, when I was uh, sort of writing this, uh, this, the script for, for, this, um, for this stream, Kennedy Carter was the first person in my mind. Kennedy Carter was the first person in my mind because I was like, you know what? When it comes to 1v1, oh, Kennedy Carter. <laughs> like I, so I, I'm not sure exactly if she's going to be in this league. Um, but if she is, I think she's going to be, I think she's going to be really, really good for this, um, for this unrival league. Uh, Drew says, I think it's dope. I love watching when slam does their queen of the court. Yes. Yes. So it's going to be a similar thing. It's going to be a similar thing. I think slam is the only other, uh, slam is the only, um, basketball company that I've seen do one V one well. Um, and so, so I think it'll be kind of similar to that. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, Arike would be really good as well. Yep, yep. Uh, looks like looks like quite a few y'all are are um, are in favor of um, Kennedy and Arike. Gilda uh, says Kalia Copper, Kennedy and Arike. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Gloria, there is no age restriction, but this is only open to the top thirty players in the world, and this is invite only. All right. So players just can't get in the league just because they want to, okay? Um, so so that that's something to know. That is something to know. Um, guys, shout out to uh, uh, Repeat Tour, a.k.a. Michael, for the Super Chat. Michael, I appreciate the Super Chat so much. Thank you. Says, uh, been in the process of moving, but I wanted to say, hey, Quita and awesome people on the internet, I miss y'all. Michael, miss you too, man. Um, have a great move. Uh, like, moving can be very stressful, very, very stressful. So I am praying that you have a, a good moving experience, that everything goes well, that all your stuff goes to the new place with you. Um, so um, absolutely uh, praying that everything goes well. Uh, hope you are doing awesome, Michael. It's great to great to talk to you. All right, uh, let's see uh, let's see what else you all have to say about this. Drew, the league t the league starts in January. All right, the three the three x three v three league for Unrivaled starts in January. The one v one single elimination tournament is in February. Okay, um, Keegan says can't wait. Should be interesting. Yeah, it should be. 